Hi guys, uh, I'm going to take you through the stock sheet or the stock costing sheet of Safeco on the 1 August 2021, which was part of your prelim examination. As you can see that you have already typed in the information and my row uh, and, and, and my columns and, 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 and rows have not been modified. You can see that from, uh, if you look at the format that you are given in the question paper, this is supposed to be a wrapped use uh, to be a wrapped text. So I'm going to highlight the whole row and then select wrapped text so that uh, I can see all the information clearly as you can see. Then you can see also that this column you can see clearly all the information in it. So I'm gonna put my cursor between B and C and then I'm going to double click and then it's gonna open up my row. Uh, on this doc sheet, uh, you are given the code, the description, the quantity, the price per unit. You are not given the selling price excluding VAT as well as uh, VAT you are not given, but you are given the selling price including VAT. I'm going to add another uh, row here just to show you something. Uh, to show you what does this column represent. A selling a selling price VAT inclusive will always represent 100%. VAT, as we know, is 15%. And then it means selling price including VAT, it will represent 115%. All right. Uh, then I'm going to shade this in yellow. And then let me see if I can put some borders. Yes, I'm going to put some borders here just to indicate what this column represent. Okay, so you are given the cost price as well as the selling price excluding, including VAT. So it means if you are looking for VAT, which is 15% in this case, you are going to say equals to, you click where there's a selling price including VAT, which represents 115%, you multiply by what you are looking for, which is 15%. So I'm going to multiply by 15. Then I'm going to divide by what I have, which is 115. Then I'm going to divide by 115. And then I press enter. Then it tells me that the VAT is supposed to be a 20 rand comma 25. Okay. Because I need a, the VAT for all other cells. I'm not going to repeat the formula as I did, but I'm going to use the autofill handle to copy the formula to other cells so that I can get uh, the results for the other cells. Now, if I need um, to get this one, I've got two formulas to use. I can use the simple formula to say equals to selling price, including VAT, including VAT minus VAT, because now I'm looking for something that does not have VAT. So I'm saying 115 minus 15, which is 155,25 minus 20,25. Okay, you'll see that I get the 135%. I can also use the autofill handle to get the amount for other cells. So this is the first formula I can use. Okay, if I don't want to use this formula, I can use another one which says equals to click where the selling price, including VAT, multiply again by what I'm looking for, which is 100 divide by what I have, which is 115. You will see that I'll still get the same amount. Then I can also use the autofill handle to complete the other cells, right? Then if I'm looking for gross profit, this one is easy. I will say equals to a selling price in, in, in excluding VAT minus cost price. Okay, selling price excluding VAT minus cost price. This is how you get your, your, your gross profit per unit. Then again, I can use the autofill handle to copy to other cells, right? Then if I'm looking for the gross profit percentage, it's also easy. I can say equals to gross profit because it's already calculated, divide by the selling price excluding VAT. Okay, that is what you're going to get there. Then you also use autofill handling to get the results for the other cells. Then the stock cost or the cost of stock on hand is equal to the 
quantity, you can see we have 12 units here. We have seven units there, 15, but we need to find out how much is the total cost of each of these items that you are selling so that we can see how much the stock that the business is holding uh, on hand. So it's going to say equals to, but you click where there is quantity, you multiply, you click where there is cost per unit. Press enter, you'll get this amount here. And then you can use the autofill handle again to calculate uh, your cost of other columns. Then after you have done this, you must now go back to the question paper and check what other things you are supposed to do in this doc sheet. You can see that in 2.2 it says, center the main heading exactly as indicated and, dis and display it in bold. When this is the heading they are talking about, it means you must highlight your heading up to where your 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 spreadsheet or your 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 information ends, which is column J. So you can highlight up to there. Then from there, you can say match and center. You will see that your heading becomes centered. But on top of that, you must also make it bold. So you can see that it's now bold. Then two point three says. Use the applicable formula to calculate the items indicated in by the question marks, which we have already done. We have already calculated um, uh, the, 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 the information that we needed to put in here. Then they say calculate only the total cost of stock on hand column. So they want you to have a total cost of all the items here on the total cost column. So you can click where you want to see the results, remember to add all this. You can just use, click on auto sum. It's going to highlight all the information there that must be added together, and then you can press enter. Then they also say insert the vertical and horizontal line to, insert, to, in, to enhance the appearance of your work. I always say you highlight every, uh, all your, uh, sorry, your spreadsheet or the, where the information appears. And then the first thing that you must do, you must just put all outside border. After you put the outside border, then you can you can also uh, highlight for the second time the information in the middle, like this. And then you can now select the all borders. Okay, so it's gonna come out like this. If you look at your question paper, you will see that this total is not here, but it's somewhere there. So how do they do that? They also used merge and center by highlighting uh, all those uh, 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 columns or cells by highlighting all those cells. And then they used merge and center. And you can see that it's not in the center, but it's somewhere there. So it means from there, you must now lose, use the alignment. The alignment will shift this total to, to align right as you can see and you can see that it is also in bold so we must also bold it so that's how it's going to appear and then the other thing i see is that the the information that is an amount is in rents so you can highlight all the information that is that must be in rent like that and you can use um, that icon there to make it rent with two decimal and also here we can do the same, make it rent with two decimal. But here we must make it a percentages because this we need to see the gross profit percentage. So this is how you are supposed to complete your stock card. Remember, you are not supposed to add this column. I added this column just for illustration. So what you are going to submit, I'm going to delete it so that you can see. What you, you are going to uh, submit, it will be something like this, not with those uh, 10, 100 or 15 or 115 percent showing there. So do not add the the columns or the, the rows that were not given in the examination question paper. Thank you.